Hello, y'all. If you're clicking this video today, either you're, you know, scrolling on YouTube and you saw the thumbnail and we're like, oh, that's cute. But two, you met me in college or somewhere else and you just happened to see me post this, I don't know, on Instagram, Snapchat, whatever, Twitter, and you were like, oh, let me, let me watch this, you know, tea. If you're from my high school, you know all about this situation, but you don't know all the details. So, you know, came over here to be nosy and get the rest of the tea and you know I feel it I feel it so I'm here to provide that tea for you so basically some backstory is my name is Autumn and I went to a really small high school there were 13 kids in my graduating class only three of us went on the senior trip basically Disney World was the senior trip that every graduating class went to and they didn't really want to go so we wanted to do something different but we just couldn't pick a place that everybody wanted to go to and it ended up being Disney World everyone dropped out except for me and two other people well three other people but my friend she overslept so she missed the trip but none of my business <laughs> by the way the funny thing is that the person in this story he wanted me to make this video like I was like yeah I'll do it so I'm just gonna use our real names because why not so the three people that went on the senior trip were me my friend Elena and my friend Jade so it was us three and then two chaperones a woman and a man so boom we go to Florida the first day there it's super hot it's literally 90 something degrees and it's raining excuse me like no 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 i'm from new york and it's never that hot especially when it's raining like that was crazy and it was only like what may 30th like my mind was blown yeah but anyway so we get to orlando it's super hot you know we're just like what is there to do it's raining it's hot like we're tired from the plane ride because we got up super early like literally 3 a.m to get to the school to go to the airport so we didn't go to any parks that day we just went to like the shopping mall in disney bought some clothes or whatever <laughs> so thursday it was our first day going to different parks and stuff and i believe we went to hollywood studios first this star wars thing going on it was pretty cool like the Jedi's and whatever else the other people are called. Honestly, I don't know. I've never fully watched Star Wars, so yeah. So we spent the day at Hollywood Studios and then we came back to the resort or whatever. We stayed in Pop Century. So we get back to our room, right? Me and Elena, we forgot to fill up our cups. So we went back to the cafe and brought our drinks to like fill it up or whatever. As we're like about to walk out of the cafe, I'm looking out the door and I see this like this fine man and I'm just like oh my god Elena he's he's fine <laughs> whoa and she was like yes oh my god he looks good so then we're just talking about that or whatever and we're walking like to go out the door right tell me why this man holds the door open for us sis I was shook so I was just like oh thanks you know <laughs> <laughs> gotta play it off cool or whatever so he was like yeah no problem he goes inside the cafe we start walking to like the elevator so the cafe is over here right you gotta walk like all the way over here to get back to the resort so we're walking over here to get on the elevator to go back up to our floor or whatever and then guess who gets on the elevator yes mystery man so me i'm the type of person i'm like when I'm around attractive people, it makes me very uncomfortable because I feel like they're just too fine. So he's in the like left corner of the elevator. I'm on the right side. I'm literally just staring at the buttons. Like I, you know how you can feel somebody looking at you so you don't want to look at them? Yeah, that that's what was going on. I'm staring at the buttons on the elevator, just like praying that I can get off soon. And then boom, we get on my floor. So me and Elena, we get off the elevator and we're just walking to our room and I'm just like, oh my gosh. And next thing you know, I hear, so where y'all from? And I was like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, who is this? So I turn around 
out and it's mystery man and i was like a word mind you mystery man he looked like he was at least 20 24 years old or something so i was like mm, i don't really i don't really know how to feel about you coming over here trying to talk to us but you know mm, let's see what it's about first we started having conversation um, he asked us why we came to Disney. We said we were here for a senior trip or whatever, and he told us he was here with his family for Pride. Our ages came up, and I was like, yeah, I'm 18, so is Elena. And then he was like, oh, I'm 19. And I was like, oh, so you just look older. You're not actually older, okay. That works. We started talking some more or whatever, and then he eventually gave my friend Elena his Instagram. And then obviously she followed him, he followed her back, whatever. I think we like decided that we should like hang out sometime or whatever. So we go back to the room. As soon as I go on my phone, I got a notification that he followed me. Mind you, my, my name never came up. Like, well, obviously I introduced myself, but I didn't like give him my Instagram name. So the fact that he typed my name in on Elena's like follower page or whatever, went to my profile, liked like three, four pictures, and then followed me. I was like, hmm, so that's what we doing. Okay, I'm with it. So I told Elena and Jaden, they were like, oh my God, you have to DM him. And I was like, yeah, that's what we're not gonna do. If he wants to do all this, he can slide in the DM too. You know, like I'm not about to be out here sliding in people's DMs, no. Mm -mm, baby that's not me <laughs> that's not me so he eventually slid in my dms anyway so i didn't have to do anything all right basically in the messages he was just like after you go to the park tomorrow do you want to like hang out sometime you know take a walk or go to the pool or whatever and i was like you know i'm going to uh whatever i think magic kingdom at 12 i don't know when we're gonna get back but like that sounds cool you know you know you don't want to seem too like excited or whatever because then you're doing too much and i'm not somebody to do too much i like to do just enough but yeah so then he was like okay that's cool we talked for like a little bit longer since jade hadn't actually met him yet she was like ask him if he wants to go to the pool now and i was like bet so i asked him if he english okay i asked him if he wanted to go to the pool and he was like yeah we could go and so jade was like i'll go with you because i was I was too scared to go by myself I know childish yes yes I am <laughs> but yeah so me and Jade we went down to the pool or whatever and then we met up with him we were talking or whatever I learned a little bit more about him he's from Texas anyway we got to know each other a little better or whatever the weather was kind of bad so they ended up closing the pool a little early so we were like okay we'll see each other tomorrow blah 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 me and Jade go back to our room and then obviously I'm geeked about what just happened because it's like, wow, like this fine specimen wants to hang out with me. Like <laughs> who would have thought? The first day we went to Magic Kingdom, it was just me, Elena and Jade. We didn't um, meet up with him or his cousin. Obviously we went around, we met the different characters and stuff. I met Princess Tiana, which was so great. We bought like these little hats that said like graduate 2018 or whatever. After me, Jade and Elena, we went to Magic Kingdom where we ended up going back to the resort and then we asked if they wanted to hang out him and his cousin and they were like yeah cool so we all went to the pool right mind you so it's me Elena and Jade and his cousin he's not there yet we're just gonna call him we're gonna call him Disney Bay for right now that's gonna be his name Disney Bay me and his cousin you know we're in the pool we're talking about like boys or whatever and she was asking me was i interested in anyone or was i like currently talking to anybody and i was like i'm not talking to somebody like right now but i am kind of like interested in someone she was like "Ooh, girl like put me on like who is it and i was just like mm, like girl you're not gonna believe who it is because um i was about to say and then elena she came out of nowhere she started like making these noises she was like bah, 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 and i was like um and then i saw that he was like in the pool and i was like oh <laughs> that would have been awkward i think she caught on after elena did that because she was like oh he comes over we start talking a little bit blah 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 after he went like to the other side of the pool, his cousin came back over and she was like, you think my cousin's cute? And I was like, yeah, that's actually the person I was talking about. And she was like, you're kidding. And I was like, no, I'm not kidding. And she was like, wow, because like he talks about you a lot. And I'm just like, 
Oh, really? After I got that knowledge, I was just like, hmm. Well, in that case. <laughs> well, Friday, this is when all of us went to the park together. We went back to Magic Kingdom. When we first got there though, um, we went on Space Mountain, whatever it's called. We're waiting in line, super long. You know, all of us are just talking, whatever. Even though I know he's interested in me, and obviously I'm interested in him, I was just like still shy, I guess. I ended up sitting with Elena because I was too scared to hop in with him. Jade sat with Disney Bay. And then his cousin sat in the back by herself. So then, you know, we go on the ride or whatever. I'm screaming, blah, blah, blah. He's teasing me. He's like, oh, you were scared. <laughs> I'm like, huh? no, I wasn't. Obviously I was like, duh. We go on like, you know, the log cabin ride. I forget what it's called. It's the ride where like you go with the little twists and turns and then you go all the way up and you go shoot down and the water like splashes you and you're like, ah. So for this ride, Disney Bay, he tricked me. So he was like, if we sit right here, we're gonna be, cause this is the back, so we're not gonna get splashed with water. And I was like, bet, I like that. We should sit right there. So, you know, I go in first, he goes in next. And then tell me why I'm thinking the ride's gonna go that way since this is the back. No, the ride starts up and it starts going this way. And I was like, wait, <laughs> wait a minute. And then he was like, yeah, I lied. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, are you dumb? <laughs> I was like, you, you're not serious. He was like, no, this is the front. <laughs> Excuse me? Like, I was so hurt. I was like, bruh, like my hair is about to get so wet. I was wearing a full face of makeup. I was like, I'm really about to look crusty after this ride. He did the little arm thing, you know how they like. Yeah, he did that. So he put his arm around me or whatever, and we're on the ride. And I'm just like waiting to get splashed because I'm just like, y'all not about to catch me slipping like i'm gonna be searching for it you feel me so, <laughs> so i'm sitting here like being extra attentive just trying to make sure that i can like duck the water i don't know why i thought i could but that's what was going through my mind i was like i'm gonna see the water and i'm gonna <sighs> when we were going up the like up the mountain or whatever that's when he started like holding me the tightest and then he was like you know we're about to dip down and i was like oh my god no i'm not ready but you know how it like stops and then it goes shoots down. Yeah, that happened. And then I was screaming so loud and the water like splashed up. So after I got off the ride, I was like, you're foul for that. Like you really played me. And he was like, oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted to get you, you know, like I wanted to trick you. <laughs> well, you tricked me, buddy, you got me. We decided to go, you know, take a break, go back to the hotel, get some dinner or whatever. And you know, chill out. So mind you, this is like our last full day being here because we were leaving like saturday morning to go back to new york so we go back to magic kingdom and it's getting darker you know the fireworks that they do at the castle they were starting that and we were trying to get as close to the castle as we could so like we're all like holding hands trying to like squeeze through people oh my god it was it was a mess because it was so many people there so my friends elena and jade and then his cousin they decided to like break away from us to give us some like alone time or whatever so then they go a little closer to the castle so it's just me and him now so you know we're just sitting there looking at the fireworks talking or whatever and he was like oh like why do you have to live in new york like that's so far from texas and i'm just like yeah like i know like <sighs> how unfortunate He's saying how like he had a really good day especially because he got to spend it with me and i was like wow thank you i was like i had fun with you too blah 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 i had a feeling what was gonna happen and i was just like really extremely anxious i was just so nervous i was like either he's gonna kiss me i'm gonna like mess it up or he's not gonna do anything and i'm just gonna look dumb so i was just i was really nervous to what was gonna happen next first he kisses my cheek and i was like oh you know maybe maybe this is gonna be it you know he was like you know i always wanted to kiss someone under the fireworks at disney like in front of the castle and i was like yeah me too and the next thing you know you know how they do that thing where they're like yeah he did that and then we kissed Ta -da! after like you know staying there watching the fireworks a little bit more or whatever we ended up seeing elena and jade and his cousin so we went over to them and then elena was like so what happened over there and obviously i told she told them obviously and then they were like yay like 
like we knew this was gonna happen. This is why we left y'all alone. This part is really funny. So we're sitting online and I guess like this couple was getting married and they were on their like honeymoon or whatever and they had like the people with them. We were playing like truth or dare and then they had dared me to kiss Disney Bay. And even though we already kissed, I was still like, like me initiating, bruh. I was like, um, I don't know. They were like, bruh, like y'all already kissed. You might as well just kiss him. And then the people behind us were like, Autumn, if you don't kiss him, I'm gonna be really upset. And I was like, oh my God. So they were like, kiss him, just do it, just do it. And then the whole time, I'm like, this is literally going on for like five minutes. Disney Bay, he must have caught on to what was going on because he eventually kissed me. And then they were like, yay. So we get on the ride or whatever. Then we're on the actual ride. Me and him were sitting together. The people with the honeymoon crew or whatever, they were behind us. And then they were like, kiss her, kiss her. And then he kissed me. And then my friend got it on video. Bro, this is when everything gets like crazy. So she like takes a Snapchat video of us kissing or whatever. And you can hear the people in the background screaming like, yay. And then she posted on her story. When I tell you, blue boxes were just popping up. Like my iMessage was blowing up. Everyone was like, oh my God, Autumn, like who is that that you're kissing? Like, oh my God, like what? Do you have a boo now? Like what is going on? Everyone was shocked because if you know me, you know my love life is non-existent. Like <laughs> I don't really talk to guys or whatever. Even the teachers, like when I came back, they were like, ooh, so I heard you got yourself a little Disney boo. You know your school talks too much when the teachers get in your business. We get off the ride and it's getting like pretty late. We had like one last ride to go on, but um, something had happened with my friend. So like she just wanted to go back to the hotel or whatever. So we were like, cool. We end up going to the gift shop. I already got stuff from my family and my friends, so I wanted to buy something for me. Disney Bay, he was like, oh, like I'm looking for something for my mom. And I was like, oh, that's so cute. So he's going around the store looking for stuff and I'm looking for like something cute for me. So I found this little gold ring. It was like a little crown, you know, like the Pandora crown rings. It looked like that. So I bought that. That was like, I think $30. He had bought what he had gotten for his mom. And then we went outside and we eventually left the park, went back to the resort. It's like late now. They go to the, our room, but um, Disney Bay, he wanted to like go on a walk or whatever so we could talk and stuff. And I was like, yeah, I'll go on a walk. So we're walking around the resort or whatever. And he was saying how like, he can't believe that we're leaving tomorrow. Like that's crazy. He's gonna miss me, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I'm actually dumb and I forgot a major part of the story. He explained when he first saw me. So he actually saw me the first day we came on Wednesday when me and my friend went to the pool. But he felt like it would be creepy to come try to talk to me at a pool. So he was like, obviously she's probably gonna be here for another day, so I'll probably see her around. So then he saw me the next day in the cafe and he wasn't even going in the cafe, but because he saw me, he decided to go be a gentleman and open the door or whatever. And then he saw we were going to the elevator. So he ran back to the elevator and it just so happened that we stayed on the same floor. And he had told me that he gave my friend Elena his Instagram because he didn't want to like directly ask for mine and be so like direct so early on. So he obviously she followed him, he followed her back and he knew that since we were friends, we obviously followed each other. So I was right. He went in her followers, typed in my name and then I popped up. So he followed me and then yeah. And then we end up sitting on a bench, right? Tell me why this man pulls out a little gift bag. He was like, I, I got this for you when we went to the gift shop. And I was like, you're kidding. Like you, you bought something for me? Like you spent your own money on me? It was a pair of earrings and a necklace. And what really got me was like, was like my February birthstone or whatever. And I was like, wow, he really pays attention. We love a man that pays attention. I was just like, oh my God, that was so sweet of you. Like, I really appreciate this. Like no one's ever bought me stuff. He really spent $40 on me, like, wow. So we ended up like talking a little bit longer, you know, just trying to spend some more time with each other because after that, like we were not gonna see him the next day. So we ended up going back to my room. My friends are in there, his cousins in there. We're all like, you know, reminiscing on the past few days we spent together and then basically like saying our goodbyes because it was already like what one o'clock and we were leaving like 4 a.m so we had to get up at like three they eventually leave 
And I'm just like, wow, like, to think I didn't even want to go on this trip and it turned into this, like, I'm really glad that I went. You know, it was, it was nice. That's basically the end of this video. Me and Disney Bay, we still like keep in contact, you know. Sometimes I make YouTube videos and he actually watches them, which is crazy. He was like, you know, you should make a video on our Disney trip. And I was like, bet. So he sent me some pictures, the pictures you saw in the thumbnail. But yeah, so yeah, that's the end of my Disney Bay story. Hope y'all liked it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That was so ugly. I apologize. But yeah, so thanks for watching.